So we decided we wanted to buy a motorhome and one of the first ones that came up was this. It's a 1982 Airstream motorhome. It's a 310 diesel with a turbocharger. When I first went and took a look at it, it's 1982 in the interior for sure. Needs a little bit of work, needs a little bit of freshening up, but the body is good and the drivetrain is good. This, this had the option of two single beds in the back We, uh, with the full wraparound windows in the back. Full stand-up shower on the inside, and it's a separate shower across the hall. Is the uh, is the is the washroom, bathroom. 1982. Look at that wallpaper. Old fashioned. So in the front there, the table was missing on the on the right hand side here. So this is the day that I bought it, and we got it fired up. And uh, the guy that owned it drove it up in the backyard. And he drove it up into the front yard so I could take it out for a test drive. The body is in really nice condition. It came out of southern Washington and uh, was well taken care of. So I bought it. Down the highway I go, back to Calgary. It just roars down the highway, just 57 miles an hour. And here's your happy camper. <laughs> but it is vintage and it looks great going down the road. We get lots of thumbs ups and lots of smiles and waves with it. We brought it home and uh, we started doing some of the little work that had to be done. My brother and sister-in-law decided that they uh, wanted to help me clean it up. So they were steam cleaning all the carpets and couches and everything to get done. And we did have a beer or two while we were doing this. Dual sinks, they're really shallow sinks. This is with the mattresses out. One side is the generator, the other side is the, is the fresh water tank. But look at the windows, they wrap right around. It's the panorama windows is what they call it on the, on the back, that was an option. And the windows wrap right from the front all the way around to the, all the way around the back. So there was one thing we needed to change. We have a granddaughter that's on holidays and she's coming with us for our first trip. So we decided we needed to have a third seat up front so she could see what's going on. So we took a look at it and decided that I could build a bracket and put a third seat in the middle. And uh, it bolts onto the, onto the beam, the same as the other two seats, with just a bracket and sits on top of the engine cover. Went to the auto wreckers with my brother and we picked up a bucket seat and this is what it looks like installed. So I found some one inch uh, square tubing, cut her to the right, the right sizes, welded it all up, cleaned it up and painted it, and uh, mounted that third seat in the middle. It's bolted onto the same beam that the seats are onto. I use stud bolts coming through from the inside back. The idea is, is that uh, I put it on wing nuts so that uh, I could take it out quickly and I could check the engine oil and stuff like that if I had to get into the engine. There's also seat belts that we had to put into it and I took them out of a 2007 Chevy Hafton I have out of the back and bolted them into the same beam that the other uh, seat belts are bolted into. It was all pretty straightforward. It all worked out rather well. And then of course we had to, once we had it all together, we had to give it a try. So this is my best friend here. She's trying it out for me. And then we were discussing about where there, there should be an optional table in here. There was nothing. And I went online and I found some of the measurements for it and dimensions for it and talking about two options. One was a fold-out table that you could actually sit on the couch for a third person. And this is what I was measuring here when it folds out. Uh, the other was a booth style, so it would have two chairs in a booth. But with the fold-out, it had two ch chairs like that one sitting there. This is my best friend. She's checking everything out, showing where all the storage is available in the upper cabinets and the way to get to them. And this is uh, this is her trying out the seat belts to make sure that they they fit and they work properly and how she fits into it. And for her, it's perfect. So 
We got the little one works, so we decided to get the big one to try it out too and see if her legs would fit in there too. Now, if you notice, everything works good. It fits good. Yeah. <laughs> Even put your feet up on the dash if you want to be cool. Little one is okay. And she's quite happy with big it. One? Big one is okay too. <laughs> yeah. It's a strong, it's a stable, I think. You happy with that? Yes. So we're sitting up at the front and we're talking about now we have the third seat in place. There was two projects we did. And if you if you look back at the beginning of the video when I was talking about the wrapper on windows, we also put a queen size bed in the back. We're talking about that we have no idea if all the systems work on it. I've kind of gone through the systems, the refrigerator, the stove, all that stuff works. But we want to take it out for a trial run and see if they're, what the problems are, what issues we come into. We ran into some issues. Follow along with us for part two. If you like it, please like and subscribe.